Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I am Shyam Krishnan and today's topic is Thermocouple. In the last two lectures, I have a temperature measurement topics like RTD and Thermistor. This is a temperature measurement device on Thermocouple. So let's go into this topic. Thermocouple is an active transducer to, to measure the temperature variations. That is, temperature measurement when you make an active transducer on thermocouple. Active transducer on the other side, this is the working in the end, material energy supply, or resource in the Avisha Mila and the other self fight work in the room. And passive transducer is nothing but they need an extra supply to work. But if you are active transducer, you don't have to be separate. That's why you have to be temperature measures here. You have to be transducer on a thermocouple. This is a basic catalog of working. Now, you have to be able to do this. You have to be able to do this. Thermocouple is a dissimilar metal chair. You have to be able to do this. You have to be able to do this. You have to be able to do this. Type A or lengil, uru some X or Y, uru type A type, ayolah uru uru metalum, uru type B ayolah metal metalum. Monum ke tarik ayolah uru uru picture nak kaya raya, blue color la ayolah uru metalum, red color la metal metal. Ini random kuda, uru couple ayat combine jeim bol, terus ayat um random junction sun lagu, there will be two junctions. Ini uru junction ni, nama l hot junction anum, next junction ni cold junction ini mulek. Yang tu kita macam ni, kita nak ed temperature atau measure si yang tu, ada an hot junction lekang connect. And in the cold junction, we will connect a voltmeter. So in e e e dia connection je boleh, entah mana sampai kira entah macam ni. Ipol as as in picture, hot junction ni, nama lori temperature apply je entah macam ni. So there is a a temperature difference between both two junctions. अरे इधर हॉट जंक्शन में टेम्परेचर कूट लाए रखी है, कोल्ड जंक्शन में टेम्परेचर कोरा बाए रखी है। सो इरी दिल और एक कनेक्शन बैरी के आने के लिए डिसिमिलर मेटल्स सिंडे रेंडे जंक्शन आड़ के रेंडे टेम्परेचर बैरी के आने के लिए देर विल बी एन ईएमएफ डेवलप्ड एट दैट जंक्शन एंड दैट इज़ द वर्क IMF अपने induce दागूं अधिक कारण और इस रेक कारण और इगूं, so ये और यू उन दागूं ना voltage से लेंगे लाये और इगूं ना कारण दिने नमल scale चेदी calibrate इधर इत्रे आना temperature अपने ते temperature difference अलग इत्रे temperature आना और लादे इन्दुलादे नमल scale चेदी कंट्रे पड़ी की ना और यू मदर आना thermocouple इन्दुलादे, so there are there are two junctions hot or measuring junction cold or reference junction Hot junction in the brain is the junction which is connected to a body whose temperature is to be measured and cold junction is the junction which is connected to a body of known temperature. That is why we are talking about temperature and cold junction. Hot junction is the junction which is connected to a body of known temperature and that is connected to a body of known temperature. So, thermocouple measures unknown temperature of the body with reference to a known temperature of other body. इधर ना थर्मोकपल डे डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन साने कारण दो थर्मोकपल डे वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल एक्सप्लेन चाहिए ना वो ना इफेक्ट्स आन इपर आये ना दो लाइक सीबेक इफेक्ट पेल्टियर इफेक्ट एंड थॉम्सन इफेक्ट इमोन इफेक्ट्स ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर है टोला उरी कारण दे नियाना पर आये ना दो आउ � First one, Seebeck effect. Seebeck effect states that when two different or unlike metals are joined together at two junctions, an EMF is generated at those two junctions. So that is the two dissimilar metals, the two junctions are combined. This two junctions are generated at one EMF generated at the Seebeck effect. So this is generated at the EMF metals are dependent on the EMF. Next effect is Peltier effect. Peltier effect for another. The Peltier effect states that when two dissimilar metals are joined together to form two junctions, EMF is generated within the circuit 
due to the different temperatures of two junctions. So Peltier effect is similar to the explanation of the dissimilar metals join that is junctions in the area or EMF induced diagram due to the temperature difference of the two junctions. And the third effect states, Thomson effects state that when two unlike metals are joined together forming two junctions, the potential exists within the circuit due to temperature gradient along the entire length of the circuit. So, this is the similar effect of the dissimilar metals joint cheyanengil adinde ullil oru potential exist cheyunu due to a temperature gradient along the entire length of the conductor adayad total length of conductor inde edayilulla oru temperature gradient kaaranam adinil oru emf induced aagum allekil oru potential exist aagunnundo ennalladana thomson effect parayunnathu so ee moonu effect almost similar aanu ee moonu effect indeyum oru working principle ilana ee thermocouple work cheyunathu thermocouple work chain So the working of thermocouple and course brief item explain Like there are two junctions, a hot junction and a cold junction. Let's we can call it as P or Q. Then P and the junction, Q and the junction under. Here junction the dissimilar metals are connected in type A and type B. And when we are connecting uh, some some particular temperature which we need to be measured in the hot junction. That is, a hot junction in which we measure the temperature at Rano, other connected chain the junction on a hot junction. I'm taking them to temperature connected to you on a gill. There's a hot junction name, cold junction name, a EM of induced type, and that can be measured using a voltmeter. A voltmeter will read in the voltage in the bar another change in uh, temperature in the equilateral or you. Voltage area. If there is no temperature difference between both junctions, that is, the junction will the temperature sum will difference on the other means uh, we are not collecting anything on that hot junction. So, the junction is the same as the temperature. There won't be any temperature difference between these two junctions. That is, uh, junction the EM of thumb will perspiram cancel I pump, so there won't be any EM of uh, which can flow through the voltmeter. So if put on your condition over another when we are when there is a difference in uh, temperature at both two junctions, and the junction that will temperature difference very again again upward the EM of induced in both junctions will be different and some value of current will flow through that uh, voltmeter and we can measure the temperature by appropriate calibration and scaling of the reading. That is, if we take a voltmeter reading, we scale it, calibrate it. Okay, and again, how much the temperature difference? Like, how much our hot junction level temperature is going to be measured? So, in this way, we work to get a temperature measurement equipment. That is, a thermocouple. So, I will explain our explanation of the theory. P and Q are junctions under the temperatures on T1 and T2 and the temperature on R and junction lum existing. So if the two, uh, two, uh, two temperatures are same, then they will get cancelled each other and net current flowing through the junction is zero. And if the junctions are made at different temperatures, then there will be an EMF and net current will not be zero. The total EMF flowing through the circuit depends on the metals used and temperature of two junctions. So, that is how the EMF is developed. This type of metal we use in the depending on the temperature difference. So, the total EMF or current flowing through the circuit can be measured using a device like voltmeter connected within the thermocouple circuit. The output obtained from the thermocouple circuit is calibrated directly against the unknown temperature. So, we can calibrate the um, reading or like volta voltage and then we can find the unknown temperature. So, the main advantages of this thermocouple is it is a rugged in construction, covers a wide temperature range. And it is suitable for temperature measurement of industrial furnaces, comparatively cheaper in cost, 
Calibration will be easily checked. Valar elabo ana in the calibration offers good reproducibility. Adu orikel namukka kitiya reading weedum weedum same condition sil same aitrala aru condition sil namalad weedum adhe aru measurement arthi anagil similar aitrala reading thane gitum. So it offers good reproducibility. High speed of response and satisfactory measurement accuracy. Accuracy valar satisfying aitrala aru accuracy thirena. ഒരു സിമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ മെഷർമെന്റ് ടെക്നിക് ആണ് തെർമോകപ്പൾ എന്ന് പറയാം Stray voltage pickup is possible and in many applications amplification of signal is required because namukku ee or emf induced inde aitullu adhaayire rendu junctionilum undaguna temperature difference kaaranam emf induced aagunu aa emf valare cheriya or value aanunnundengil namukku adu read cheyan sadikkilla so we need to amplify that signal and it is a an extra work which we need to be done so it is a limitation so idreyana idinde prathana petta limitations ennu parayunnathu and applications are everyday ke namukku idu pole rtd ilum thermo thermostat ilum njan parana pole thane everyday ke aanu thermal temperature measurement ullathu avade ella ee oru thermo couple de application namukku kaanavunnana like in steel industry gas appliance safety thermopile radiation sensors manufacturing technologies power production thermoelectric cooling and like in process handling plants heaters and thermo couple as vacuum gauge So, ഈ ഈ തരത്തിലുള്ള എവിടെയൊക്കെയാണ് ഒരു ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ മെഷർമെന്റ് ആവശ്യമായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു സിറ്റുവേഷൻസ് അവിടെ എല്ലാം തന്നെ നമുക്ക് ഈ തെർമോകപ്പിൾ യൂസ് ചെയ്യാവുന്നതാണ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ വെരി സിമ്പിൾ മെത്തേഡ് ടു മെഷർ ദ ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ക്വൈറ്റ് ഈസി ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് സോ ഈ ഒരു ടോപ്പിക് എല്ലാവർക്കും മനസ്സിലായി എന്ന് കരുതുന്നു താങ്ക് യു ഫ